I don't know who needs to hear this today, but you are neither too young nor too old to serve the church. Everyone has a story, and everyone's story matters. Everyone has something to bring, and what you bring matters. It may come as a surprise to you that today's hymn was written by a teenager. William Ralph Featherston was born in 1846 in Canada to parents who attended the Wesleyan Methodist Church in Montreal. When he was a teenager, uh, he gave his life to Christ. He was converted. And not long after he was converted, he wrote the words to a poem, a poem that expressed his gratitude and his love for Jesus for what he had done for William. Uh, he took that poem and mailed it to his aunt who lived in Los Angeles, California, and this aunt encouraged him to publish that poem. We don't know all the ins and outs, but the first time that this poem was published, it was actually published as a hymn. And it was published as a hymn not in Canada or the United States. It was published in England uh, in a hymn book called the London Hymn Book. Interestingly enough, the words to uh, the hymn that was originally written as a poem uh, in that boyish handwriting is still with the Featherston family, and it is a, a cherished item that that family has. The tune to this poem, as it was published anonymously, in the London Hymn Book is a different tune than the tune that you and I are familiar with. The tune that you and I are familiar with was written by A.J. Gordon, Dr. A.J. Gordon. Uh, he was the pastor for the well-known Clarendon Street Baptist Church in Boston, Massachusetts, and he was in the process of compiling a hymnal for use in the Baptist church or Baptist churches. And he came across this hymn from the London hymn book, and he loved the words, but he did not like the tune. He did not like the melody. And so he kept reading over the words of this poem turned to him. And let me share with you his words about how the tune, and if you look in our songbooks, you will see that the tune to this hymn is actually called Gordon after the composer. But as he was reading over this poem, he says, In a moment of inspiration, a beautiful new air sang itself to me. The words with the new melody, Gordon melody, was published in 1876 in the hymn book titled The Service of Song for Baptist Churches. And this poem and this melody, as it was published in 1876, has remained unchanged to this day. And in fact, this hymn is found in virtually every single evangelical songbook since that time. But what are the words to this poem? What is this poem that made its way across the Atlantic to England and then back to America before it became the hymn that we all know and love? Take a listen and I'll be back. My Jesus, I love Thee, I know Thou art mine. For Thee all the follies of sin I resign. My Free. 
One never ceases to be amazed at the providence of God and the mysterious ways and workings of God that creates the circumstances for which words and melodies come together to become a hymn that brings glory to God and encouragement and edification to the body of Christ. We are never too young and we are never too old to have a positive impact on our church communities. You know, in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, Paul says this, Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, and in your purity. I like the way that the New Living Translation phrases it. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in the way you live your life, in your love, your faith, and in your purity. As young people, I want to encourage you to be that example to be the type of person that God made you to be so that people would not have a cause to look down on you. And I think that the opposite side of this verse applies as well. To those of us who are older, I think that Paul, in a subtle way, is telling us, don't look down on young people. Realize that they have something to offer. They have a story. They have talents. They have giftedness. And, and we need to honor God by respecting that reality and give those individuals the opportunities to continue to grow and thrive. I'm also reminded of the words of Leviticus 19.32. You shall stand up before the gray head and honor the face of an old man and you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. Whenever you read Scripture, and that verse ends with, I am the Lord, you need to understand that when the Lord ends a statement with those words specifically, He is making it clear, I am not even playing. What I just told you isn't a suggestion, it isn't a recommendation, it is a command. 
And I have the authority and the wisdom to say this because I am the Lord. I also like what the proverb writer says in Proverbs 16, verse 31. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. And, and so from these verses, I want us to remember that those of us who are younger have a responsibility to honor and to respect those who are older. Those who have the gray hairs. Those who have the laugh lines and the wrinkles. And to those of us who are older, I would challenge us to really remember the words that those gray hairs are a sign of righteous living. Unfortunately, those gray hairs and those lines are sometimes the result of riotous living, like what the uh, prodigal son lived. And, and so let us in our youth, also remember that those gray hairs and those lines should be a product of experience, wisdom, righteous living, not the riotous living. And let those of us who are older also be an example to those who are younger. An example of how they ought to be living their lives. And let those gray hairs, let those wrinkles be a sign of of a long life lived rightly or righteously. Everyone has a story, and everyone's story matters. You are neither too young nor too old to serve the church. And so whether young or whether old, my question that I leave for you today is this. Are you bringing anything to the church? Because that's what the Word of God calls us to. I've got nothing but big love for you. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.